Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use session storage in JavaScript. Okay, so basically session storage allows you to store data in the form of key value pairs on the client side of your web application or website. And the reason why it's called session storage is because the data lasts for as long as the session. And in the context of session storage, a session basically just refers to an open tab. Once you close the tab or the actual browser window completely, um, the data within the session storage gets cleared out. And it works per origin, which means uh, different websites can't share the same session storage information. Um, and also, it's very similar to the local storage uh, API uh, or just local storage um, because uh, both session storage and local storage share the same storage API. So all of the methods to insert and retrieve data from session storage are basically the same as local storage and vice versa. So um, it's much easier to explain with some code. So let's go inside the text editor right here and I can show you how it actually works. So firstly, uh, let's insert some data into this session storage. It's very easy. You simply say this. You say session storage dot set item and here you pass in your key value pair. So uh, both the key and the value must be strings. So for example, I can say occupation right here um, as my key and for the value I can say for example uh, software developer just like this and that is all it takes to store data using session storage you have your key and you have your value um, right here so to retrieve that data it's a very similar situation you can simply say something like this so I'll say console.log session storage dot get item and here um, you pass in your key, so for example, occupation right here. And now uh, this session storage.getItem method is going to return you the value for that key. Pretty simple. So I'm going to save this now and refresh the browser. And we have here in the console software developer works perfectly fine. So, what about storing uh, more complex things such as objects? Well, as I said, you can't actually store uh, anything aside from strings using session storage. So uh, you can actually store objects um, as strings using JSON. So let's go up here and define a new object. We can say const obj equal to here an object with two properties. We can say name as being Bob and age as being 45 years of age. So we can then go down here and say session storage once again dot set item uh, let's uh, let's make this key uh, being person and for the value we can say json dot stringify and pass in here obj so essentially we are converting this object into a json string using json dot stringify and of course uh, this method is going to return you a string so it can be stored in session storage and then uh, to retrieve that value you would simply do this you would say uh, console.log once again uh, session storage dot get item passing your key so person I'm going to save this now and refresh the browser and we can see that uh, for that uh, method we get this JSON string right here. So now to convert this back into a JavaScript object, of course, you can simply say json.parse. So I can say here json.parse and pass in uh, the JSON string right there. Save this and refresh once again and now we get back the native JavaScript object right there. Okay, so um, what about looping through all of the session storage key and value pairs? That's also quite straightforward. Let's go back inside the editor and go between these two bodies of code and we can write out a for loop. So I can say here for let i equal to zero, i less than session storage dot length, i plus plus. So essentially uh, this dot length property um, is going to give you uh, the number of key value pairs being stored within the session storage. So in this case, this will be uh, two. So one and two. So now we can go inside here 
and we can say const key is equal to session storage dot key and pass in the index. So here, this key method of session storage is going to allow you to pass in an index. So in this case, it's going to be zero and one. And zero is going to give you our occupation and one is going to give you the person. So essentially, it's going to give you the key at this particular index. So occupation and person in this example. And then you can simply say console.log. We can now simply log out here the key and value pair. So we can do something like this to demonstrate. We can say key. Then we can say session storage. Uh, dot get item at of course this key right there. I'm going to save this now and refresh once again and we get here occupation software developer and person as that JSON string. All right, so also pretty straightforward. So what about uh, um, updating an existing uh, value? That is very very straightforward. Once again, um, you can simply like if I want to. Uh, override or update the value for occupation, I simply call set item um, a second time and I can change this to be, for example, dentist and this right here is going to override the value for occupation. I'm going to save this, refresh and we can see now we get dentist for the occupation and of course once again dentist down here. And removing an item is a very similar situation. You can say session storage dot remove item and pass in uh, your key. For example, person. This will remove, of course, uh, this whole key and value pair. Save this, refresh, and now we get null for the get item um, for the key of person. And of course, here we didn't loop through um, that second key value pair. To remove all of the session storage uh, key value pairs, you simply say session storage dot clear. I'm going to save this now and refresh. Um, and here we get null and null, and of course, uh, no output for the loop. So now we've basically um, explored all of the methods you can use for session storage. Uh, let's now talk about how it works in terms of how long the data actually lasts and um, how the data actually maintains. So I'm going to go back inside here and basically just get rid of all of my uh, removal methods. So remove item and clear. Uh, let's go back basically to, uh, to keep all of that data. So now inside the console, after the page has loaded up, I'm going to add an item to the session storage. So I'm going to say here, session storage dot add item sorry uh, set item let's just make this name and a value of dom just like this hit enter and now of course I can say session storage dot get item for our name and we get of course dom now what if I was to uh, open this uh, uh, this website in a different tab press enter Go inside here, F12, open the console up. Of course, we get the um, uh, these these values, but if I was to say session uh, storage dot get item for name, press enter, we get null. So here we have essentially two different sessions. Uh, one of the sessions has, of course, name as DOM. In this one, I didn't actually set it. Okay, so we get null. This is, as, uh, this is as opposed to uh, local storage, where local storage would actually give me DOM here because it lasts for the whole origin, where session storage is for the same session, or two separate tabs. What's also interesting is, um, if I was to actually navigate away uh, from this website, so a different website, then go back here, get item for name still exists. So it maintains uh, the session storage even if you uh, redirect and get out of the original website. So also very useful for things like redirects or if your application uh, goes to different websites and then comes back and needs to remember pieces of, of, of information. And uh, that right there is uh, session storage in JavaScript. Uh, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you later.